would walk with their gaze down in front of them. At Islamic schools, women normally teach the girls and men the boys. The female teachers only uncover when teaching an all-female class. I had to learn to stop before the door, knock on the door, announce myself so that they were aware that a man was going to come into the room to give them adequate time to cover themselves. There's probably teachers in the school who I don't know what they look like and I don't have a problem with that as long as they do the job that they set out to do. So there's no problem. We don't judge them on how they dress. We don't judge them on how they look. We don't judge them on the latest fashion, you know. They are judged basically on their teaching abilities and whether they're following what we've asked them, the, the, the curriculum that we've asked them to follow. The future of Brixton School hangs in the balance. Earlier this year, in the course of a general review of its property, Lambeth Borough Council decided to sell the freehold. It's to be auctioned to the highest bidder. The future of the school, we hope, is semi-secure. We've managed to secure a lease for the, for the building, um, but now we're kind of in consultation. We're trying to get the council to bring the price of that lease down because it's quite a significant fee they're asking us to pay. Um, we've managed to pay it, and we, well, we're managing to get the money together to pay it, but we probably, we're not sure we'll get the money in time of the, for their deadline that they've set us, which is quite tight. We've given us a deadline of a week, basically, to get the money together. In Saudi Arabia, they're also fundraising for Brixton School. Abdulhak Baker was at the Brixton Mosque when the school opened. He's now concerned about the school's future. It's very upsetting. I've been trying to contact colleagues that I know. We've had um, benefactors who've assisted us in the past that I'm contacting. And I'm trying to speak to some of the scholars over here and those um, beneficiaries who could help us. One problem we have, though, is that people are reluctant to transfer funds now in view of what's happened and the allegations of terror funding terrorism and things like that. We're trying to push up the educational standards in the school, so it's, you know, it was supposed, this was supposed to be a time for us to build and um, build on that foundation we set. Um, unfortunately, the whole situation of the building.